All right, hi guys. Uh, Nico here, and uh, you know what? After getting done with uh, Eternal Darkness, I'm still feeling a little bit of that Lovecrafting feeling, and uh, that brings me here with the Last Door. The Last Door is an interesting indie game. Uh, it's been in development. It was in development starting in I think it started releasing them in 2013. And they did it episodically as they got done with it. Uh, there are two seasons. This is the first season. It's the collector's edition of the first season that you get on Steam. Uh, it's made by Games Kitchen. It's a 8-bit uh, point and click that's extremely well done. Excellent soundtrack, might I add. And the devs, super cool people. Uh, I got in on this pretty early. Because they had it set up to where you could go to their site, thelastdoor.com. And you could get on board you could pay 10 bucks and you basically got every episode that came out so you got the first season and the second season as soon as they were done with them actually before they were done with them because you got to be in the alpha some people uh if you did a lot of helping with the testing and stuff you get you got to have your name in the credits and whatnot but i, I didn't get to do any of that because i didn't have a whole lot of time anyway i have actually played the entirety of the collector's edition first season however even after it's been done, I have not actually played any of the second season. They're fairly quick se little shots. Uh, I highly recommend the series. It's a well-written story. Like I said, the soundtrack is superb. And these guys deserve deserve your your uh, your money. That's the best way to put it. Uh, both are 10 bucks on Steam. Actually, I think you can get them both together both collector's editions for uh for for less than 10 bucks actually i think the, the combined uh no wait this collector's edition with the soundtrack i take that back but anyway it's still you pay 16 to 20 bucks for both depending on if, if you want the soundtracks or not it's totally worth the money in my opinion and i'm gonna show you it's worth the money there's no voice acting but it's pretty it's pretty legit creepy for just a little little point and click 8-bit thing so we're gonna start out in hell we're just gonna start with episode, with, uh, episode one the letter and uh we'll see how this goes i might actually depending on how much of this i remember i might actually get this entire first season done with one sitting and then the real fun kicks in is if i don't remember this it's been a long time since i played the first season i got it as soon as it came on steam but yeah and uh after that gonna start in on season two of this and some subsequent streams and uh, hopefully you guys like it as much as I like it after all the things I've seen After all the things I've done. I cannot escape the course of my that my life has taken. Now I'm beyond redemption. I just hope you can forgive me someday. Sincerely yours, Anthony Beechworth. The Last Door. Why would I want to skip this amazing song, game? 
Ah, uh, why would I want to skip this awesome opening? I love the music in this game so much. October 1891. That said, I actually have the entire soundtrack, and I have, on occasion, listened to its entirety to do artwork too. It's fantastic. It's somber. It's so freaking melancholy. It's everything about the period that this game is set in I love. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Okay, I will. Bretteni Kis Theat. That was all my childhood friend, uh, friend Anthony Beechworth had written in his letter. It had been many years since I had heard that sentence. It was the motto of the science and philosophy group that we had secretly run as students back when we were secluded boarding school in Scotland. But we had left it all behind, like mere childhood memories. That letter was unusual. It could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolute secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex and made my way to the address on the letter. And there it was, the old house of the Anthony, uh, Anthony's family, the Beechworth Manor. Episode 1, The Letter. Now, episode one, I do remember fairly well. Actually, I think I can go back this way. This way. It's going to take me a minute to get used to the controls again. I have not played with a uh, mouse in a while. A murder of crows eating eagerly. There are so many birds I can't see their prey from here. Well, let's go over and startle the shit out of them, champion. Ho ho ho! The crows are too vicious. Getting close could be dangerous. Okay, well we won't mess with the crows then. Uh, we'll try the back door though. Hello! He's latched from the inside. Alright, we'll back to the front. There's not a lot to the first chapter terms of uh, puzzles to figure out. At least as far as I remember there's not. There probably is a lot more that I don't remember. It's strange. Everything is silent as if there was no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, Due to recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We remain forever grateful to you for all these years of service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. This Anthony? This, the years have not been kind to him. My coat. Alright, so let's check this out. Grandfather clock is the only sound around here. Uh... Well, we can't go that way. Because it's too dark. Yeah, it's too dark. He won't go anywhere. It's too dark. It's too dark. I cannot go any further. Uh, we can try this door, though. Locked. The door stuck. It won't open. Well, back down we go. And across to here we go. A cabinet with glasses, some liquor bottles, and there's also a matchbox. Walk up there. Matches could come in useful. Take the matches. Uh, sometimes you have to double click things. It's a standard point and click, but if you've never played a point and click, you don't know. Sometimes you just have to keep clicking on things to get more information. This is one of those games. A machine that play uh, that plays record music, recorded music. I didn't know, did not know Anthony was such an enthusiast for inventions. I think a recording of sound or music can be played if an engraved cylinder or a disc is inserted, but I see no such thing. Okay, so we don't have anything to that for. Yet. There's a uh, thing that, there's a yeah, uh, fireplace that has not been cleaned. Uh, various other things in the room. Large window is wide open, letting in 
cold dusk air. Okay, so let's go to this door. Hello? Anyone home? Hello? Anthony? A rainy mountain landscape. This portrait is crooked. An old rosary. A cord of beads and a solid wooden crucifix. Now I have a crucifix. Painting depicts a deep, dark forest. small plant brings some life into this place. Probably the only life in this place. That's locked. I need a key to get through there. Uh. Huh. Well, I definitely heard a door open somewhere. Lamp to light the way, so let's go over here and take that. A wash bin and some toiletries. There's a tiny dark hole in the wall. March 5th, 19, uh, 1891. Master Anthony has made us get rid of our religious objects. What's going on with him? Luckily, I have found a place to hide my rosary. I cannot pray it every night without it. So that was a hint for where the rosary was. If I, well, let's, I'm going to be honest, I already knew where it was. But yeah, I mean, if you don't stop and mess with that picture and find it by accident, that tells you you need to find it. May 18th, 1891. Master Anthony has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, you cannot let the poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I worry about Master Anthony. He grows more and more unlike himself every day. September 15th, 1891. Master Anthony is spending the whole day, uh, spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door. But he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. An empty bowl. I think I need something to feed that bird. Feed that bird. I just let loose a little too, huh? But yeah, I need something to feed the cat. So I just have to find what I need to feed the cat. <clears throat> you have to forgive me, I'm getting a little stuffy. Uh, perhaps I should have medicated myself before we started playing this again. In fact, I think I'll do that right now as I go through this door. Just a little bit. Oh god, that tastes horrible. Anyway. Kitchen stove and a cleaning cloth. Might come in handy, I'll take it. You never know what you actually need to pick up in these kinds of games, so it's best to just keep clicking on stuff. And usually if you need to pick it up, it'll pick it up for you. Plates, uh, plates and pans. And if not, I'll just say the same thing. A plate with some day-old leftovers. That's not a good sign. Okay, well, there's uh, nothing there. Okay. A variety of herbs and ingredients. I unlatched the door. Okay, well that takes us out to the back of the yard. But I can't do anything back there just yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine the matches with the lamp. That's how you use the lamp. Well, I don't think I have to do anything to the lamp. To use it. I think it's just once it's in my inventory, I just automatically turn it. When I go somewhere I need to go. Yeah, it just automatically turns it on. This, uh, this house is not at all, right? This. This doorway has been boarded up. <clears throat> They're firmly nailed down. I cannot remove them with my... Do I need something to remove? Right. In we go. 
this silver key. Take the silver key. God, I love the soundtrack so much. Gentleman with a serious and inqu an inquisitive look. A fireplace is black with. Well, I don't have any more things I can light stuff, but so. Small photographs and old. Um, Yaga types. Uh, mostly family portraits. Uh, okay, that's uh, that's important. This window leads to the balcony, shared with the room adjacent. Can't, I, I cannot open the latch, it's stuck. Perhaps I could do so with a small tool. Well, I don't have what I need to do that either. There's a, a good bit of back and forth in these games. Box from the inside. Well, I've got a key. There was a locked door. We're gonna have this guy take his uh, sweet time getting back across here. You know, it's funny, I never remember the main character's name. He has one. Oh, I didn't that. the key here. Oh, that is exactly what we needed. Let's see what this is in this box here. Ah! I think this is a slate disc record. The sleeve reads Carnival of Venice. So we'll take that because we need that. This is also a crowbar that we need. Brother looks like it's been out of use for a long time. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do with that. I can't use that here yet. Um, I need to pay attention to that, though. I think there's a reason to come back down here. Like, I could be thinking of another chapter, but I don't think so. Alright, sorry, I had to check my sound. Okay, I got what I came for in that room. So, let's go in here. We're gonna plop this here record down on here. Yeah, that music's not mildly disturbing at all, is it? The music has abruptly stopped. Well, we'll go back in here and see what happened. Oh, that's what happened. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, that's still mildly terrifying. Even for 8 bit. That's pretty effed up. Now we go out the back door, because the crows are inside the house now. And we can pick up what they left. Dying crow. There's not much left to it. We now have a dying crow. Oh, it's messed up, man. It moves in your inventory. That's kind of jacked up. Well, that's okay, because we're about to put him out of his misery, and our misery, because, in case you hadn't really guessed, he has to go somewhere, and there's a cat that needs to be fed, so, well he's in that now, let's go over here and check this out, tiny dark hole in the wall. Yeah, I can't do anything there, so... 
The way we do this is we take that rosary that he gave us a hint about, use it on this window. Now it's open, and we leave the room. That should be enough. Not quite yet. I don't think there's anything else I have to do. I hear something in the distance. It sounds like a lament. Aha! Aha! The cat did what I wanted him to. I don't remember why I wanted him to do this. Where did the crow go? There's a tiny dark hole in that wall, so let's look. Okay. Oh. It's anywhere. Gotta be down here. The board looks like it's been out of use for a long time. Not there. Here. That seems to be behind this wall. We have a crowbar. Okay, well, we gotta find something we can break that wall down with. And we have a crowbar. And we know something we can do something with, with the crowbar. There's a door with some, some boards on it that we can go see. Let's go do that. Man, the sound design in this game is just, man. It's like, I have on headphones. That cat meowing is kind of disturbing. And the crows are gone. That's almost as disturbing as them being there. Like, I know other YouTubers and streamers have played this game, but I haven't seen it talked about in a while. And it deserves to be talked about pretty frequently. I think this is a testament to this game. Is that it's 8-bit. It's clearly a labor of love. My god, what happened here? It's a letter. Dear Margaret, It's been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whispering angrily, frightfully. And it's getting worse at night. Our service left a few days ago. Without their help and company, I'm lost. I can't bear to walk out of bed. Not even the doctor will come here after his arrangements with Anthony. My husband has developed a horrible ability to break anyone's will. I do not know what to do. I do not have much any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter. Your dear friend, Anne Beechworth. The lifeless body of a woman. It has been here for days. Oh man, that house has got to smell horrible. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hands. Sure, let's see if we can take that note. I am writing what will surely be my final thoughts, my last lines, my last breath. I do not know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger. With a look bereft of all sanity, passion, and I do not know now what shadow has slowly darkened our lives. I do not know if this know this foreign guest that it now dwells in our souls. I do not know where it's from, but I am sure it's not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness. Soon I will stop trembling. You know, she wrote pretty well for a dying lady. Thank you for that hairpin. Writing on the wall reads, leave me alone. Who would have written such a thing? An old wheelchair. Oh, let's see. A letter in feeble handwriting. I cannot go on. All is lost. I'll be short and to the point. Nothing here of interest on this table. Diary page. I cannot stand the stairs. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I am not worthy of this family, but who are they but dust and bones? A memory. Leave me! I do not need you. Leave me alone!
This young man bears a resemblance, um, uh, some resemblance to Anthony, but his countenance is uh, marred by severe, unsettling gaze. Portrait of Anthony stands beside a mounted wildcat or lynx. The paint looks like uh, looks fresher around the animal's head. Oh, I think I know where to go. Man with blonde hair. I feel as if I've seen him before. There's a big raven perched on the window, tapping at the glass as to break it. Looks like the woman on the bed. She's holding a baby. Could that be Anthony's child? Possibly. A woman of strong features and dark hair. She's bold. Look. One more fourth. The young Anthony, just as I remember. Ooh, my eye just started twitching. That's not good, is it? Alright, let's go. I think I have what I need to get somewhere I need to go. That will be here. Do 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 do. Using the hairpin, I've managed to piece the spring lad. With ease, no less. Thank you, dead lady. That goddamn cat. He meows every night. And it, and it is for me. I know it. He's mocking me. He knows my secret. He knows! I will not let him ruin everything. I do not have any choice. I have to put an end to his miserable life. Or better yet, I will blind him. Gabby Gabby Lynx. You would not confess. No, not you. Mmm. Somebody sounds crazy. Come and hammer in a good condition. That's what I need to get in that room down there. Torn out diary pages. They will not bother me anymore. I'm done with their censors, gazes, their whispers. It is all ready. There is only one thing left to do. A lynx mounted in stuff. This fine work of taxidermy. Well, I don't have what I need to deal with that lynx yet. Uh -huh. I can't a can of paint thinner. Oh, you know what you do with a can of paint thinner? You uh, you find a way to pick it up. It smells strongly of vinegar, but I need this. There we go. We combine this and this. I dampen the cloth with paint thinner. Right, so we have a wet paint thinner cloth. This game is not terribly complicated in terms of figuring out what you need to do. Thankfully. Oh, okay. Okay. Top of the ladder is trap door key. Reinforced with gold. Yeah, so everything I need has already been found in here. There's a map of regions of Sussex with marks drawn all on the surface. You know, my levels look good, so audio should not be a problem, hopefully, for this game. It sounds a little loud to me. But again, I have on headphones, and uh, I don't want to. I don't want to get out of the window because it'll it'll make the game go mute. But the, the peaking looks pretty good for the game, so it should be fine. Worst comes to worst, I can turn it down. Yeah, I have a little bit loud on my end. That's my fault. Okay, so let's go get the cat. I also have something else I need, but I need to deal with the cat right now. Cause that's a lot of backtracking. God, I forgot how fun this game is. The sound is louder down here. Well, we know what's down here, Anthony. So we need to find something to deal with a lynx. Or do we? Do we already have it? Need a key. A black cat is staring at me, but wait, its eyes are missing. That poor cat, good lord, it almost ripped my eyes out. It's run away into the darkness. Alright, but what did it leave behind? There's an open chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. The knife could be useful. I take the knife. There's nothing else here useful. Alright, so we've got everything we need from this area. I will admit, after the long sessions of uh, 
Eternal Darkness, it is very strange to not have to remind myself to save because there is no saving in this game. You play a chapter until it's done or you have to play it again from the start. That simple. It's not really a big deal. I kind of find it quaint. Definitely a throwback. And they capture that Lovecraftian mystique very well. Uh, I put this in Eternal Darkness up there as two of the best Lovecraftian games. Uh, I have another one that I'm probably going to play at some point. I have the... Uh, one of the, the Sherlock Holmes games that is based around the uh, Shadows of Rensmith, I think. That's what it's based around. I played about like 30 minutes at the beginning of it, if that. We have something we need to do with this cloth. I think this is the statue we need. Yeah, there's a mounted wildcat, so let's use this here. <clears throat> the thinner has worked. The first paint is gone, and now I can see the original painting. The lynx's mouth is open as if they were growling. Okay. Well, now we know. And if you're wondering if you can skip the things that I'm doing, you can't really because uh, Anthony, uh, this guy here, would not actually know to do any of the stuff that he's got to do to solve these puzzles if he wasn't finding these clues. This Lynx looks like his mouth is shut. Like it was before I revealed the painting. So we take the knife and we slit it open. I managed to get the Link's mouth open. There's a gold key inside. Take the key. Alright, so now let's go up here. The gold reinforced trap door is locked. I need to find the key. Well, you know what? We have the key. So we're gonna use the key. Oh! God, no! Anthony! No! The lifeless body of my dear friend. What madness could have led him to commit such an act? There's something in his pocket. I take the something from his pocket. It's a sealed letter. Dear J. DeVitt, If you're reading these lines, then I'm nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I've written you as my last shred of my last shreds of lucidity. You, one of my oldest friends. And when I sent you a letter asking you to come here, I did not doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this evening, everything would have been lost. I would have found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. Reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I have become a total stranger to myself, to those to my closest relatives, capable of the most in Describable and atrocious acts. Ah, sorry, for, excuse me for a second. I've got a little moist. Alright, I cannot give you any more details th at this time. I must ask you to go immediately back to the boarding school where we made that pact. Where we all swore on our honor. That sentence that would protect us. This letter must not reach anyone else, so it is imperative that you destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group... And yours too are in great danger. Do not delay. They are already waiting for you. Ding is believing, Devitt. Do not forget that. Always your loyal friend, Anthony Beechworth. M damn crows is mean business. Oh man, I love this game. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the first section of the first season of The Last Door, The Letter. Uh, apparently, it was funded by uh, uh, 285 backers. They said, you got, you got people to back this, and backed with good amounts of money, or put in a lot of input into testing the game, got their names put in the game. Uh, some of them got some items put in the game to help with, like, to, to be clues and stuff. It's kind of neat. And, uh, yeah, I highly, HIGHLY recommend you go check this game out if you've never played it. 
if you just watch me play the first episode, stop watching. Just stop. Unless you just don't care and want the story spoiled. Stop watching. And go play this yourself. Because there's just some stuff that you cannot recapture if you know what's happening. Anyway, like I said, it was published in 2013, so it was on March 11, 2013. Uh, it was free. I have no idea if it's still free to play these on the webpage. I can't see it because I automatically log in because I want all my goodies and stuff that I got on top of the game. I don't know. Uh, it's 20 bucks to get all of it. It's worth the money. You get a lot less game for 20 bucks in some cases. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go clear my nose real quick and we're gonna start Adventure 2.